Welcome to this edition of Eye on the Isles, sponsored by Cook Insurance. It was a light week for the Charlottetown Islanders this week, however, they made the most of it, nabbing an 8-3 victory over the Acadie Bathurst t in Bathurst on Saturday night. Pierre-Olivier Joseph had two goals and two assists in the victory for Charlottetown, while Nikita Alexandrov and Derek Gentile each had three points. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're gaining a lot of confidence up, up front and uh, by scoring more goals and uh, no, I think we're just uh, ready for uh, uh, for the next couple of games. While most of the players this week had a bit of a light week on the schedule, Pierre-Olivier Joseph, Matthew Welsh and Jim Holton all took part in the Canada-Russia series sponsored by CIBC, suiting up for Team QMJHL with Holton being behind the bench. Matthew Welsh got the start in the first game, however took a 5-1 loss in that one. Pierre-Olivier Joseph scored the only goal for Team QMJHL in that first game. Great experience. Uh, I mean, every time you go there, you. Uh, you want to compete and uh, the, the level of hockey is really high so um, I think uh, it's disappointing that we lost like that but uh, I mean in overall I think we we improved from uh, game one to game two. Yeah it was an unbelievable experience obviously it was uh, a lot of talent there and um, to have the, the chance to represent the, not only the QMJHL but our country was uh, it was a, a pretty special feeling. Joseph was the subject of positive headlines this weekend following the game in Bathurst. He made a very selfless play that involved his teammate Nikita Alexandrov. Well, yeah, I just got the puck from the point and uh, I just made a pass across to uh, to Nikita and I saw the perfect angle from his uh, from his shot and uh, I, I, I knew that it was a goal so I just told the ref right away and uh, I saw him waving the, the, the goal so uh, I just kept going and uh, the puck ended up in the, in the back of the net but uh, I knew that uh, the, the goals are review and stuff, so uh, I just went to see the ref and uh, tell them basically that uh, the goal was good before. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think everybody everybody would have done the same thing. Joseph's good deed didn't go unrewarded as he was given a primary assist on the play, his fourth point of that game. It's a play that his teammates say isn't out of the ordinary for Joseph. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, uh, there's a reason why he's got the C on his chest. Um, he's a great leader, he's a team first guy, and he's always been that way. So um, when I saw him go over to the ref and you know ask for the uh, goal to be reviewed because he knew Nikita scored, it didn't surprise me at all. I actually kind of expected it from him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just like a great player on ice and off the ice. He's a really good guy, and uh, whenever he's on the ice and I see I, I will play with him, it's just like re you, you feel really safe and really comfortable. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think in my mind it was it was not my goal, so basically it wouldn't be a, a fake hat trick if you want. But uh, I think I'm gonna have a, maybe an op another opportunity, and uh, I'll take that chance. But uh, no, I mean it was a good shot, so he, he deserved to get credit for the goal. Looking ahead now, the Islanders have a busy week ahead of them with four games, including two at home. The action begins on Tuesday night as the Islanders travel over to Halifax to take on the Memorial Cup host Halifax Mooseheads in their first game at the Scotia Bank Centre this year. Yeah, tomorrow night's game will be huge. Um, you know, Halifax is one of the top teams in our league. Uh, it's our first time going into their building. They have a really good fan base, really loud crowd, so I think it'll be important for us to kind of settle into the game early and, uh, you know, get comfortable there and um, yeah, hopefully we can put out a good effort, a good 60 minutes. On Friday night, the Islanders travel back across the bridge and back to Bathurst to take on the T10 once again at the KC Irving Regional Centre at 7 o'clock Friday night. Yeah, that'll be uh, one of those games where you got to go in and kind of manage the game. Um, you know, Bathurst being in the bottom of the league and uh, it's a far drive. I think we got to go there and just bring our energy. Um, and if we put it together a good 60 minutes, I think we'll have a good chance of winning that game. Saturday night sees the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles come to town for the first of two home games this weekend at the East Link Center. They're led by Egor Sokolov and Mitchell Balmas, the former Islander and overage player for the Screaming Eagles. Yeah, Cape Breton's, uh, I think their record's pretty deceiving for the talent that they have on their team. Uh, they have a high-powered offense, a lot of great goal scorers, um, and they have a really good goalie too. So they're uh, kind of a wild card team that could win uh, any given night. So I, we'll definitely have to be sharp uh, coming home on uh, on Saturday. On Sunday, the Bay Camo Dracar come to town for a Sunday at afternoon matinee affair. Yeah, I mean it's always always fun to play against teams like that when you're going well like we are and. Uh, we want to show the league that we're we're there up there and we want to compete this year. Definitely, yeah, they uh, they beat us pretty good back earlier in the season, so I think we're going to be excited for that game. Want to get a bit of revenge. Uh, I want to bring a good effort to show them that we're one of the top teams in the league as well. Don't forget that tickets to both games this weekend can be purchased online at boxoffice.eastlinkcenterpei.com, here at the Eastlink Center box office, or by phone at 902-629-6625. For your Charlottetown Islanders, I'm Aiden Northcott.